And we're off and running in the first quarter final of the 2019 Alcas International Cup. It's Rangers all in blue, kicking from left to right in the first half. That breeze just behind the Scottish side's backs in the first half, but it's not as strong as it has been in some of the matches that we've seen here. Nice ball played out wide by Nathan Coombs to Kai Kennedy as Rangers look to get off to the sort of start they did against Raja Club when they were two up inside 37 minutes. But this will be a much sterner test for them, you feel, against Etoua, who themselves scored early against Bayern midway through the first half through Recep. Moez Guzé is the Etoua coach. This should be a, a very interesting battle, Nick Summerby. Yeah, this starts getting interesting now. Uh, to keep your eye on Coombs playing uh, centre forward, his movement is exceptional. Obviously, Kennedy as well on that left hand side. He can drift in, he can get on the outside. Uh, I think we're talking a lot about Rangers, but I think Atul can really do something about this. They, they, they are a tough side to play against. When the Rangers were bitterly disappointed to lose their last match against Aspire, they hadn't perhaps allowed for the fact Aspire were head and shoulders above their opening match. They lost to Raja Club. Aspire, they'll play the second semi quarter final later against Alta Nordu, who played yesterday, so maybe a little bit of tiredness around in the Turkish camp. Here's Lyle. Nathan Young Coombs, nice turn. Slid away by Kada for a quarter kick. Yeah, a lovely bit of play down this right-hand side. It comes to Coombs, he tries to drag it back. Does everything right, though, but well defended, and the ball gets knocked out for a corner. It's early on in the game now, just, just before two minutes, and it's really all about Rangers. They've got a corner down on this right-hand side. He came on in first-half stoppage time, Nathan Young Coombs, in the last match. Didn't really have much to do. Felt one or two decisions should have gone his way. The chance for him to redeem himself back in the starting lineup today. Overcomes the corner, taken comfortably by Sleeman, the Etoile goalkeeper. That gives you a bit of an idea. Look at the size of the goalkeeper. He's literally like the size of a basketball player. He's so much bigger than the rest of the team. So when a cross goes in for Rangers, they've got to keep the ball away from him because he'll just come and collect it. So I've often and long been considered one of the best Tunisian clubs. They were the first Tunisians to play in the Club World Cup back in 2007. Got to the semi-finals after beating the Mexican team Pachuca in that competition. Here's Recep, scored the opening goal in the first match against Bayern after a mistake by the goalkeeper. Well defended though by Rangers. Miller, now Kennedy. Yeah, good play then, uh, down that right-hand side, getting to the byline. Gets the cross in, but it's dealt with by the Rangers defenders. Uh, just what we thought, a real cagey affair in this early, early parts of the game. Rangers trying to get the ball down, trying to dictate. Lyle. Rides the challenge of Desiree. He's got Young Coombs outside him, here he is again. Takes a tumble under Kader's challenge. There was no contact, though. And it will be a goal kick. And was there a clip on the back of the ankle of Nathan Young Coombs from Kader? And certainly there was no appeal from the Rangers striker, who's very quickly back to his feet. I think he just lost his footing. We do have VAR, don't forget, if you're new to the competition, just joining us, maybe watching one of these teams for the first time. All the referees are referees that will be at the Women's World Cup in June and July in France. O'Connor. He's one of those players, Coombs, he makes life difficult for you as a central defender. Uh, he, he treads all over you, he's, he's looking to run in behind you, he's one of those real... He's just there, he's a problem, and he'd be like that all throughout the game, so they have to deal with him. Kai Kennedy was the MVP in Rangers' opening match. Here he is on the ball. Already trained with the first team. Away by Gumiti. Lyle. He showed some lovely touches early on, Lyle, from this right-hand side, looking very confident. 
Go on, have a go. There you go, there you go. Have a go there. Up against the fullback. The fullback gets there first. I think there's a foul being given though, but just be a little bit more positive. Make your mind up what you're going to do. If the pass isn't on to go inside, if you're going to get on the outside, you've got to use your body. You've got to lean into the defender and give yourself a bit of a chance. There was a little bit of contact. The Zeri's tumble was slightly delayed, but still drew the free kick. by McKinnon. It's definitely a bit of a nasty win there, which he's just picked up, so it will favour Rangers. Here's the ball over the top, it'll hold up in the wind. The goalkeeper's waiting for it to come back, just about picks it up. Should have put him under pressure a little bit then. Uh, he was waiting to, for, the, for the ball to roll into the box, but just saying this wind has picked up. Rangers have got to start getting the shots in, in and around the box. They must try and take advantage of the win while it's behind them. Lewis Budanowskis is back in goal today for Rangers. Jay Hogarth was the man in goal for the previous match. McKinnon picked up a knock in the first game, Cole McKinnon, but fit enough to start today. He's made a very intelligent diagonal run. He doesn't receive the ball. Well cut out by Dixon. Henderson. Young Coombs has gone down on the edge of the penalty area, off the ball, once again appealing to the referee, but nothing given. Lovely ball inside the defender. Here's a real chance for Recep. Good save by Budinowskis. The Rangers just switched off through defence for a second. It was a great ball through for Recep and a good save by the goalkeeper. Should have done better, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, really good play. The ball holds up, all of a sudden one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, good save by the keeper, but maybe it should have been 1-0 to Sportive. Uh, Coombs then shouting for a foul before it, but it's back down the right-hand side with Rangers. Best opportunity for Sportive early in the game. Young Coombs, I think that might have just come off the Rangers, man. Well, that should be a goal kick, is it? No, oh, it's been given as a corner. No, it hasn't goal kick. Good running, nice little reverse ball from Lyle. Yeah, just flicked the back of Nathan Young Coombs. It's been a good start to the game, though, in terms of the pace of the game. Yeah, that's what we want now. It's going to start getting better when you obviously get to the quarterfinals, semi finals, and so on. Uh, but there's a, there's a lot more to play for. This is it. You basically lose a game tonight and, you, and you're out, basically. So it's all about a little bit of pressure, a little bit of meaning to the game. But just to say now, this is two equal sides who are here, right? <laughs> Rightly so. You know, and all of a sudden, Rangers with a lot of possession. The best ch chance of the evening, obviously, so far goes to Sportive. One on one with a goalkeeper, but the keeper makes a save. No extra time, by the way, if it is level after 90 minutes, it's straight to penalties if needed. Handball against Gamiti. Hopefully, we won't need penalty shootout, even at this age, it can be. Pretty daunting having a penalty shootout in a, a big competition that's televised and going out around the world. O'Connor. Just a little bit too high for Young Coombs. Gamiti went for the acrobatic clearance. Why by Cadet? Just going to try and get hold of it then, Young Coombs. The ball comes to him. He's got to lean into the defender, try and get hold of the ball. He tries to flick it on. Sportif now are having some good possession and looking uh, lively. They've got the confidence before from the opportunity they've just had. Again, and with the throw, Recep had that chance a moment or so ago when he was through one on one with the goalkeeper. Well, cut out by Dixon. Henderson. Lyle. Yeah, very lively out the two wingers at the moment. Lyle, Lyle is having the better of it. If they get the ball to this youngster, show some lovely touches in this uh, early part of the game.
Well covered by Gamiti, or by Gamiti rather, gives away the throw. Lively the front three of Rangers, Lyle on this near side, Kennedy on the other side and Coombs for the middle. They need to try and take advantage of the fact they have got this breeze behind them in the first half. Here's Kennedy, struck it well, good save by Sleeman. Full stretch the goalkeeper, Kai Kennedy set himself beautifully for the shot. Struck it well, but a wonderful save by the goalkeeper. Yeah, great strike uh, out on to his right foot, just tries to feed it around the corner, gets it absolutely right there, but the keeper's there to make a really good save out for a corner again. Slimmon is a very tall goalkeeper, as we said, but he was at full stretch for that one. Overcomes the Rangers' corner. Oh, it's going to float onto the roof of the net. Not a great delivery from Kennedy. See, that's a waste up there. All of a sudden, you get those corners down there. I know there's a little bit of a win there, but it has to count. Got to put quality in. You can't be crossing it behind the goal. That's a crime to me. That's got to. You've got to do something. Something. You've got to be do something positive. It's no good hitting it behind the behind the goal. It's a real waste. Kriefer. Here's the foul of the captain. Kennedy wins the ball back for Rangers, gets a free kick from Kriefer. <laughs> Young Coombs, that'll be a foul by Gamiti. Once again, the Rangers striker in full flight. <laughs> Gamiti committed himself to the challenge and brings him down. So free kick in a dangerous position. Kennedy will come across to take this. Yep, so that's what the boy Coombs there you see on your screen, that's what he'll do, he will chase everything. You know, he really is a problem to the central defenders. All afternoon he'll do that, that's what he likes, that's where he does his work. But just look at the movement here now for Rangers. Everybody back by two behind the ball for Etois. Kennedy's over the ball, Dixon's there as well. Clutch of Rangers players all together. Whip it, get it, get a left foot round there now, get it to that far post. But if not, I suppose you can take the right foot going away from the goalkeeper. Got to be careful of the keeper with the size of him. Went for the punch, the goalkeeper. Seemed like a fairly straightforward catch, but... Well, it's gone all the way back to Budinowskis. Cadet. Fala. Kriefer hits the pass once again. Both sides have had pretty good run-ins in their leagues coming into this. Rangers top of the league in Scotland, while Etois won three games in a row coming into this, all by the same 1-0 scoreline. Ganham rides the tackle. It's Thompson that goes across, still has the ball. McGannum. Gandu's a real up, up and under and an awkward one for Budanowskis, but kept his eye on the ball and quickly gets Rangers moving forward again. Very lively, You've got to say that small team looking good as well going forward. It's a real 50-50 uh, game, very, very difficult to pull the pair of them apart at the moment. 
The Rangers looking confident, starting off confident, all of a sudden they just slow down a little bit. I think they realise what sort of challenge they've got ahead now against Sporting, trying to, uh, trying to get over the game, trying to, be, trying, to, trying to take control of the game, really. And well done by Common there, making the goalkeeper make a mistake. That's why I stopped talking then. I thought maybe he's going to nick the ball off the keeper. It's a better start from Rangers in their last game against Aspire. Kennedy. Rangers just trying to keep them pegged back in their final third at the moment. through the channel, fouled by Deziri. He's got to try and get on the outside of him, he's going inside, a little bit predictable now, he's got to take him on the outside and then he can go inside, outside then at the moment, he's a little bit predictable, doing the same thing, get on the outside, let's get across into the box. Once he gets on the outside, then it all opens up, the pitch is different for him, then when he can cross it, he can cross it away from the goalkeeper, and that means the players are coming in on it. Once you go inside, then it makes it a lot more difficult, you're looking to thread ball through that. That was the last Rangers free kick, was punched away by Slimmer. Seemed a very regulation catch for the goalkeeper, but decided to take no chances with it. Fabrizio Picaretta, the AS Roma coach, is here. He's side in action tomorrow against Spartak. Three over the free kick this time for Rangers. One in the wall, who's just been eased out the way by Fala. As always, we're getting the pushing and shoving. The referee has given the warning. Let's just let the game go now. If she spots a foul once the ball with the free kick's been taken, then give the decision you see appropriate. So this is just tight marking, that's all they're doing. You know, you've got to, you've got to move, you've got to move your defender around, you've got to try and find your space. There's, there's two static at the moment, Rangers. They're pushing each other back, you've just got to... You've got to move, you've got to get away from them. You know, this is what it's like, it's tight marking. They move, there you go, move them around a little bit. Let's have a look at the quality of the cross, here we go. Brought in by Kennedy. That was a good ball, it was aimed towards Young Kim's. Plenty of movement from Rangers, it was a, a training ground, ground free kick which almost worked out for them. Yeah, well played then, they went for the one-two at the edge of the box. Uh, the cross eventually goes in, but it goes out for the corner out on that left-hand side. I do like that when they've worked on things. Uh, why not? This is the place to do it now. You have to use a, a set piece or a free kick or anything like that to your advantage. You must work on it. Short one's been taken. They've been caught sleeping a little bit now. Sportive. Dixon, great ball in. It's well attacked as well by McClelland. Although he has fouled, so the free kick does go. Zeri fouled, so he gets a free kick, but a near great ball in. Rangers captain McClelland, who was the biggest threat. It's yeah, well worth a lovely cross of that far post as McClelland. He gets a touch. Uh, the keeper's there to make a save, though, but good thinking at the moment from Rangers. They're trying to find a way. They took a short one. They caught Sportive out. Now it's a case of Sportive what they can do. It'll be a foul by O'Connor. Only yellow card for O'Connor. I'm sure that's no worse than a couple of challenges we've already had in the game that didn't produce a yellow card. So Chinese referee delves into the pocket for the first time. Yellow cards weren't carried forward, by the way, from the group stage. That is a second yellow card for McClellan in the competition, but as I say, he won't miss the next match. Rangers will play two more matches, whatever happens today. They play for one of the losing quarter finalists, and then the winners of those matches will play off for fifth and sixth place. Got to do better there with the cross. He, he has a chance, he looks up, he decides to put it across the floor towards a penalty spot. Passes it straight back to a Rangers player. Got to do better, a little bit more quality needed from Sportif in that final third. Once you get the chance for the cross, you've got to try and pick somebody out. You know, it's a pass, get it across that the, uh, the face of the goal. You know, do something positive there. He, he goes for the he opts to pull it back, and it's a bit of a waste. Good 
ball over the top again for O'Connor. Prefer trying to get back. Dimitri concedes the corner. So yeah. Rangers continuing to press. Well done, Connor. What a wonderful bit of skill that was. And the ball comes out. He hits it first time. It's the right delivery, but the defenders there just to prod it away. So all of a sudden, Rangers finding the little pockets of space down on this right hand side. Pressure on here, Rangers. In the corner for Kennedy. Kennedy's roll short. Kennedy's ball takes a slight deflection. Good turn by Lyle. This done really well. It's a great pullback. Oh, what a chance. What a chance for Rangers to take the lead, but it hasn't been taken by Thompson, who's squared the shot wide of the post. Brilliant work by Lyle. Yeah, fantastic play from Lyle, it's all about Lyle, the ball comes to him, he twists and turns two or three players, pulls it back, really should have been the opening goal of the evening, but just pulls it wide, it's a glorious chance, some great play from Lyle down in the box on the right-hand side to get the crossover. Should have really been 1-0 to, to Rangers. the current Rangers squad list, Steven Gerrard of course the manager at the moment, there are plenty of players there that have come through this academy, 17 year old Dapo and Bude, part of the squad, a couple of players out on loan, Andy Dallas and Zach Rudden, both 19 year olds, so I think the time will come for one or two of these players to make the step up, I'm sure Steven Gerrard is getting reports back and Hopefully watching the games as well. The game's very well available, of course, on Facebook and social media. It's great to hear that uh, the manager there believes in the youngsters. He's going to give them an opportunity. He's proving that he's doing that. It's OK saying it and, and not doing it. He is doing it. There are players which are coming through and playing and training with the first team. That's what it's all about, that. That gives so much hope and to these boys, you know. You're not far away. It's there for you. If you concentrate and you work on your game, you just never know, he might just give you that opportunity, and that's what it, you're in the picture then, you're in the frame, and you're playing in front of 45,000 people at Ibrox, and you, your career starts, you know, so you can understand there's that belief there in the club now since he's come. I'm sure as a player who came through, through Liverpool's excellent academy appreciates the benefits of youth as well. Here come Etzwa, that's a brilliant challenge. Belkachem was just about to pull the trigger, but Dixon got back to make the tackle. The side flag might have gone up, it was a close call. We get him over on that far side. Here's yeah. Gandus. They seem to be getting in Etowal now a couple of times. We've had one one on one, and that was nearly a one on one. There's a good job that the midfielder came back just to poke it away, but they've got to try and sort it out with the two centre halves. You know, Etowal, they're not in the game a lot, but all of a sudden they're getting really good chances. Great tackle from Dickinson there. Vitally important that he came and made that tackle, otherwise it would have been another chance for Etowal. One of Etowal's best-known players who's out at the moment is Eamon Abdenor. Signed for Valencia, but currently on loan at Chris Makin's former club, Olympic Marseille, in La Liga, or in La Liga, rather. Dixon allowed to run. Nice ball through. Here's McKinnon! That's a good save by Sleeman. And the flag stayed down once again, and it's another great chance for him. In fact, the flag has gone up late again. Another great chance for Rangers, though. Do you know, even I could see it was miles offside. You know, you don't need, obviously someone's told them uh, the lines have been down on this right hand side here now. Is it's, it was well offside? You don't need a computer to tell you that. Just look straight away, lift your flag up. You know, even I could see it, you could see it from here, couldn't you? The assistant is a, a little bit obscured from our view down in that corner, just from our commentary position. It's been a good game so far, what we expected from a, a quarter-final. For the quarter-finals, Alta Nordu against Aspire Academy comes later, and then tomorrow, two big games, AS Roma, Spartak Moscow, that should be a real battle. And then a repeat of last year's quarter-final, Real Madrid against Kashiwa Reysol. Here's Young Coombs, the flag stays down this time. It's another good save by the goalkeeper, Slimmer. Well, he's been kept busy, they're claiming that should have been offside as well, but 
The flag did stay down, but it's another great Rangers opportunity. Yeah, both sides getting opportunities at the moment. It's still nil-nil, but you've got to put them away. Coombs, wonderful first touch. The next one's got to be in the back of the net. You're the centre forward. You know, that's where that's where the danger is. That's what you're all about. They've got to start trying to get this first goal. Once again, here's Rangers. And Kennedy curls it in. Pushed away again by the goalkeeper. No one able to follow up. Starting to get going now, this game. Absolutely, two sides having a real go out here. What a spectacle this is. Plenty of shooting opportunities in the first half for Rangers. Slimman already has made several fine saves to deny Rangers the lead. A bid. Rejeb just got there before Dixon. Desiri. Just shoulders Lyle out the way, but stood his ground well. Lyle concedes the corner. Well done by the both players there. Uh, trying to get on the outside using the strength. Lyle eventually uh, much different in size, just keeps to his task. Good bit of defending there, just knocks it out of play. But starting to, we've seen a lot of end to end. We're seeing a, a couple of good chances for Rangers. One chance for a teal there, it was uh, a one-on-one -on -one at the start as well, so very equal game of football. One of the under-16-year-olds, Aaron Lyle. It's a squad made of under-16s and under-18s to make up the 20-man squad for this competition for Rangers. Over comes the corner, that's not a great delivery. Ziri for the Etoile throw, McKinnon's header. Nice turn by a bid. Looking to try and get McGenham in down that far side, the fullback, but once again, Budanowskis was alive to the danger. Coach David McCallum actually plays with Budanowskis, his father at Partick Thistle. Back in his playing days. He's been fouled by Young, who's taken quickly, but McKinnon wasn't quite ready, just on his heels. Right idea from Young Coombs, just got to be alive to those quick free kicks. He can't give the ball away as easy as what he did, they've got to be on the same page together. Uh, here's Rangers, once again Lyle just skipping past a couple of the players there. He's just gone down at the moment, he reckons he's just been caught, so the foul's been given for him. Right on the halfway line, played well Lyle, some lovely touches in this first half, he skips past players very easily. He's one of those players with a low centre of gravity, isn't it, mates? Twisting and turning all the better. He was just caught by Ogran Daziri. Kennedy. Miller. Going towards Young Coombs again, who was challenged by Kader. McGenham. Young Coombs is stayed down Rangers might have to put the ball out here so he can get some treatment the referee halts the game it's been a good start to this quarter final opening 29 minutes played at a good pace Rangers back to the the Rangers we saw in their opening game against Raja and that's why the same you know they really took Bayern Munich to the sword right from the very first whistle it's quite a tough call who's gonna win this game uh, I think Rangers have possibly had the better of it Bit more quality needed by them with the chances what they're creating, but uh, that's well, really. I mean, you, you can't, they're making it difficult and they're getting chances as well. They've obviously had the one on one, it's a really close game, but it's not as it's not what I planned, planned it out to be. I thought Rangers might be too strong for them, and it's not the case at all. Really interesting game. The matches for the lower placings are going on simultaneously today on the adjacent pitch here. Raja Club against Bayern Munich currently ongoing. She will be able to bring you up to date with a score of that one. And it's updated. That was the challenge on Young Coombs. Yes. 
that was okay. Just jogging back along that far touch line to be called back onto the field. Rangers are in the quarter-final to the SFA Youth Cup as well as their excellent league season. 14 wins and two draws in the first half of the season before Christmas. Looks like Rangers as a club, obviously back in the top flight in Scotland as well. Things definitely going in the right direction for them at all levels, it would appear at the moment. Well, that should have been an advantage, really, because Dixon had burst between the defenders, but the referee had already blown. Yeah, a real, a real couple of tough years for Rangers Football Club, and great to see them back in the... Playing against Celtic, which we have to say is, is what everyone looks forward to watching every every year. Just hu two huge clubs, Celtic and Rangers. You know, and it's great to see the manager like Steven Gerrard to go there and all of a sudden looking at these youth and looking to give them a chance. Nil-nil with Kilmarnock yesterday, Rangers' first team in the Scottish Cup, so a replay to try and get into the next round. Here's Kennedy. The 17s go one better here and put their place in the next round in the semi finals. Kennedy again. Still well stayed on his feet. Henderson. McKinnon. Oh, just wide of the post again. Saved nearly by Slimmon that time, but good work by Kennedy just holding the ball up. Henderson, it was that hung the cross in. Trying to get it in a bit earlier, but good defensive work. The ball did come eventually when the header was there. Very difficult to get the header, very difficult to get the power. He's gone away from goal. He gets the header, gets a direction, but it just goes to the side of the goal. Still nil nil. 32 minutes played in the opening quarter final of the Alcas International Cup 2019. Both these sides making their debuts in the competition. They're the ones making all the noise. One or two Rangers fans here as well. Right, handball against Kriefer. Indeed, referee obliges with the free kick. Rangers you have a chance here now driving at the two centre half gives the ball to Coombs Coombs tries to get the ball back here we go and they just got in each other's way young Coombs goes down again appealing for a penalty neither of them seem to really want to take that one on then Dixon seemed to have the best chance for a moment we'll have a look at it again in a second yeah they just got caught uh, in between each other, really, just needed someone to really get hold of the ball. Coombs tried to do it, he seemed to fall down a little bit, but either way, that was good play. Good play in midfield, driving at the two centre halves. Young Coombs, good ball, Lyle. Now, Young Coombs will race with the centre. Kennedy's in the middle, not quite pulled back enough for him. Slim and able to gather. Yeah, once you lift the ball up, then it makes it it's much more difficult. It seems to hold up, drive the ball uh, across, the, across the floor. Here's the incident here. Coombs seems to fall over the ball. Don't know if he thought he got brought down, but not at all, not for me. But just talking about that cross before, it goes across the floor as quickly as possible just to tease the, the goalkeeper. And here's that incident again. Young Coombs just turned his back on the defender, which... Just saw him lose his footing a little. Just have been the slightest of contact just there to knock him off his feet, but certainly not enough, not enough to warrant a penalty. Just looking at Chrissy making used to play Oldham Athletic, Marseille. He's just been sat down for about 25 minutes then. He got up and he looked like a very old man. Dixon, good ball across, no one attacking it, gone for a corner. It's there, it's there for both sides. Uh, the better opportunities and the more opportunities have come for Rangers. Uh, but just that little bit more belief, a little bit more quality needed. I think whoever gets that first goal is going to make it difficult for the opposite team to get back into the game. With that 
atmosphere again. Esperance from Tunisia last year, of course, had a fantastic fan base. Kennedy's ball in, Young Coombs back to goal, cleared off the line. Slimmer was beaten for once, it's still not properly cleared by a slot. Might fall for Lyle, Lyle with a second opportunity. Some real last-ditch defending here from Etouard. McGenham gets the ball away with his knee, still they can't get the ball clear. They should be able to, Gamiti to a bid. Straight away, Rangers will have to go back on the defence at the other end. Push wide by Gandus, Recep, Henderson, the man in front of him, a bid. Two blue shirts back behind the ball, lovely ball inside. Great tackle though by O'Connor. Yeah, good game of football, boys, by both sides. Uh, uh, too well there, trying to catch him on the counter attack. But before, look at the cross here. This is when I talk about the wind. Get the cross in there. It doesn't catch anybody, but it nearly goes in on the far post. Well defended on the line. You know, but use that wind. You've got to use it. It's quite a strong wind there. So when you get it crosses in, whip it in towards the goal. It's Belkacim, the central striker that got that one off the line. Not too sure whether Young Coombe's got a touch on it, but it was a wicked ball in from Kennedy. It's just over, O'Connor, free fun. Melkachev in the centre, pull back towards a bid. Now Lyle, end to end at the moment. Kennedy times his run, goalkeeper comes out and just gets there first. Kennedy knew he wasn't going to make it. It's opening up the game, really, for both sides. Just that final pass then, just to slide uh, the forward in there for Rangers, and it just goes through. The keeper sniffs the danger, he gets there, he knocks the ball upfield. I think Rangers will be disappointed not to have found the net in this first half. They've certainly had chances. Young Coombs again. Comes off Kader, good defending. From the striker. Oh, goodbye, Young Coombs. Dixon. Went for the strike! Side netting. Wasn't too far away. It was good effort from Young Coombs to keep the ball back in that final third. And when Dixon caught it, it's just the wrong side of the post. Yeah, well done and well done by Coombs there. Really good work there with the centre half, making it difficult. There's his tackle. There's Dickinson there. You're expecting it to hit that net there, but he just pulls it wide. Once again, this, this pressure what Rangers are putting on them at the moment. They just need a goal, really. I mean, fantastic play again. I think he just hits the woodwork of the side netting. Here he is again, Dixon. Rangers looking to finish the half strongly. It's Young Coombs! Brilliant finish! That's what he's all about. His first real chance of the game, and he's put the ball into the bottom corner. The angled shot again after good work from Dixon, and Rangers have taken the lead. It's Nathan Young Coombs with his first goal of the tournament, and Rangers lead it to by a goal to nil. Yeah, the ex Chelsea man did wonderfully, and he's done very well so far in the game. He's really worked tirelessly to help his team. Just did before for the, for the strike for Dickinson, but this is all about him. Uh, just cuts on his right hand side, a very, very difficult skill. Leans on the defender. All of a sudden, there's a strike, then it's in the far corner, and he fully deserves it. You have to say Rangers have had the better of the game, and they're leading the game. Just come up to 39 minutes, 1 0. We just said, I think David McCallum would have been disappointed if his side hadn't gone in having not scored in the first half. And they'll keep the pressure on, that's a, an unforced error from a bid which has given Rangers a throw. And all of a sudden, it's a difficult game now. He's uh, a teal sportive, it's about them, they have to come out, they've got to try and create some chances. Which they've, they've had a couple of decent chances, one main one, which is a one on one, which the keeper made a save. You know, so they've got to keep believing, but it's all about Rangers here now. Can they go on? Can they get this next goal? Kennedy. Coombs went on a forward run, but straight offside. McClellan. O'Connor. turn once again, he's looked really dangerous running at defenders, here he is again, it's Kennedy, drop of the shoulder, good tackle from McGenham to concede the corner, 
But Rangers continuing their pressure on the Etwa goal. Yeah, it's all about Lyle, who's been fantastic this first half. Cuts in from this right hand side. And then goes outside to Kennedy. Kennedy, you think maybe he's going to come in on his right foot. He opts to, he opts to go on the outside and gets the strike in. Here's the corner. Again, I'm setting her away. Thompson. Too high for McClellan. Young Coombs will chase into the corner. Pursued by Gumiti. Some help out there. It's outnumbered by three defenders. Melkachev. A bid. Just holds up on the breeze. Kennedy was fouled. Clumsy from Gandus. Just a little bit of asking questions at the back at the moment for Etoile. Bid in particular, not happy with the ball that he received. Gandus has gone into the book for the challenge. Wind seems to be picking up in the. It's a real wind across the pitch and it's going in the direction of Rangers. Uh, this is a perfect time to have a free kick using this wind. Kennedy is the man who has been pretty much the main man for Rangers set pieces in this competition. Simmons already made a couple of fine saves in the match. but if anybody can, he can. You have to use the win, you have to use it. Use it to your advantage, just hit the target. That's all you've got to do. Let the, let the win get the power on it. It's all about getting over the wall. The two Rangers players trying to make their presence felt in the wall, which isn't going down too well with the Etoile for, uh, players. He's got the yellow card out again. She has painted the line on the, the floor, which I think has disappeared. I think you can still see it just about. So the red shirts have to be behind that. It doesn't matter where the Rangers players are. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. But to keep the cool in this situation here now, Rangers. It's Kennedy. Too high. Get the dip he needed. Disappointed with that guy, Kennedy. Scored in the opening match just before half time against Raja to make it 2 0. To wait till the 91st minute to get their third. Matt Yates, the substitute. Yates has scored in both matches so far. He's a, a useful player to have on the bench for David McCallum. So this will play either Real Madrid or Kashima Raisal. That'll be a big test. From Desiree. A bid. Ball in behind once again. Recep! Goalkeeper blocked it with his chest, or did he handball it? He was out of his penalty area, Recep. We saw nothing wrong. Once again, Sportif nearly get in. They've had about two or three occasions where it's just a simple pass from midfield, but it just seemed team to dissect the two centre halves for Rangers. I don't know if they can get more, I don't know if the ball's holding up, but it looked like they've got it every chance of getting in. They're making a couple of substitutions now. It's just come up to 43 or 44 minutes just before half time. Sadibi Azamane, who is one of the players who dropped out of the starting lineup, is going to come on. As is Mahmoudi, who scored in the game against Bayern Munich. against Bayern Munich, but Moody came on after 44 minutes then as well, so maybe it's a little ploy by the coach just to get him on before half-time. Referee wants the free kick taken again. Got to watch that referee, sometimes if, you know, if it's your advantage and you want to take it quick, you haven't got to get it, you haven't got to get waiting for a whistle, it's your advantage, get the ball down and play. 
Well, we're just approaching the 45th minute, so they might not have time. They're going to make the substitutions now. So Mahmoudi is coming on to replace Krefer. What a bizarre time to bring a substitution, really. It's just before half time. You're right on 45 now. You don't let it wait until half time and then come out fresh in the second half. Quite a bizarre one. Belkachem, the other man that's coming off. So Sadibi Uzumane, who was the only change in this side from that opening match, comes on to add a little bit of pace in the middle. Belkachem made an important intervention, cleared a shot off the line when the goalkeeper Sliman was beaten. Two changes on the stroke of half time, but we've only got a minute to play. And a half injury time, and we're moving up to that already. Clellan. Young Kim's trying to guide it on. He comes off Gamiti. It's O'Connor. Needs some support. Went for goal himself, but only finds the side netting. And once again, what a shouting at the back from the Etoile defenders. Yeah, he's on his own here now, there's nobody in the box. He's, the only thing he can possibly try and do is try and hit it with the outside of his right foot. Tries to curl it into the near post, but just hits the side net. It's a very difficult thing to do either way what he does, but once again, they seem to get in on this right-hand side ranges for fun. They've done it on four or five occasions. You know, that's what they possibly should be looking at a bit more second half. Well, the referee decides that's enough for the first half. The first half, which was played at a fantastic pace from the very first whistle. And Rangers got themselves into the lead. Nathan Young Coombs with a fine finish from the edge of the penalty area to place the ball beyond Sleeman. The Altoir goalkeeper Ahmed Sleeman made one or two fine saves in that first half, and Belkacem, who's since been substituted, had to clear one off the line. But there's the man whose goal separates the teams at half time in this quarter final. And Rangers in the their inaugural appearance at this Alcas International Cup of 45 minutes away from a place in at the semi-finals. Both these sides were impressive in their first match. Changes in their second game, so not so impressive. That was Kennedy denied by the goalkeeper. Budanowskis at the other end stood big to deny Recep as he was through one-on-one -on, -one on goal. But the goal came from Nathan Youngcombe's swiveling shot into the bottom corner beyond Sleeman. And the former Chelsea man puts his new club in front at half time in the Alcas International Cup 2019. And there are the first half stats. More of the ball for Rangers by quite some distance. 12 shots in that game to just two from Etoile. So Rangers fully deserving of their win. نحلق بأحلامنا في سماء الخيال نمضي نحو المستقبل بكل ثقة في مسيرة من التلاحم ومدى يحين الوقت ستصبح هذه الأحلام حقيقة حقيقة تعكس إنجازاتنا طوال السنين ليولد الحلم ولنفي بوعدنا بتحقيقه
What a start to the quarterfinal stage. Rangers 1-0 up against Etoile Sportif to Sahel. Chris Makin alongside me in the studio. Impressive stuff from Rangers. Absolutely, really enjoyed that first half. Great competitive spirit between both uh, sets of players. But Rangers really on the front foot for most of that first half. And the only concern they'll have uh, heading into the, the, the half-time break is they're only 1-0 up. But yep. they have to be on the toes because Raji, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, the trial have looked dangerous on the counter-attack. This was the goal. Five Coombs, finish. Yeah. who we you know, talked about beforehand. Yeah. You, and, uh, you and Nick have, have liked the look of him. He's obviously a very talented player and he's finished that one beautifully. Just holds off the defender. He's got a picture in his, his head. He knows what he's going to do before he even receives the ball. He's just feeling where the defender is. He's too strong. It just gives him that half a yard and that's a fine finish to the, mm. to the far post. You know, what we, as, as we take, uh, we'll take another look at this a little closer coming up. And when we get to this level now, we get to the knockout stages and this standard, it's about the finer details, isn't it? It's about just, you know, what gives you that little edge. Because Etoile yeah. Sportif are not a poor side. No, they're not. On both sides have had the chances, haven't they? Rangers should, uh, will feel that they should have had more goals. But Etoile Sportif have had a couple of, we've had a one-on-one -on -one and another great chance as well. So none now to this game and it's a very strong win at the moment and it's 12 sports team will have this this win in their favour in the second period. Here it is the goal again. Yeah just just watch his movement and his strength here. Just holds off the player here. There we go. Puts his body in between the, the opposition playing the ball. <coughs> and he knows his surroundings he's going for the far post far post all day long. It's a great finish. Yeah, and there have been moments when we start looking at the chances it's while have just there have been moments that have shown and you know, pointed out to Rangers, do not relax, do not switch off for one second because this yeah. side will punish you. They're dominating and, and, you know, like I said before, they are on the front foot, but just on the counter-attack. And this defense, was early doors, this, there was, we go. this was six, seventh minute. <coughs> Excuse me, defence splitting pass, great save from the goalkeeper, young Lewis earning goal. Just got to be on your toes there. It's, it's so hard when you're defending and you're that on top to keep your concentration for 90 minutes. But they've got to do it. If they do it, they stay in the match, they win the match. Simple as that. I think that's young Kai Kennedy again. Ahmed Good. Sleeman in goal for Etoile there, pulling yeah. off a very important save. Yeah. <coughs> Look very lively from the set pieces today, Rangers. You can tell they've done a lot of work on the training pitch. Look very bright and lively. That could be the key to getting the second goal. It was interesting hearing from the director of the academy uh, before the game. They play a lot of cross-border football. They're used to playing against yeah. different styles. And they look comfortable here this afternoon. That was a good opportunity and he knows it. He just seems to scuff his shot there, doesn't he? Is it Thompson? Yeah. Number 10. Leon Thompson. Yeah. Time and time again, they're creating good opportunities. Kai Kennedy again. Again, Sleeman. <coughs> Goalkeepers catch a minute. I yeah. tell you what, it could be crucial that in the second period. I mean, we're talking in studio. You can hear the wind outside, can't you? Yeah, it's flapping the, our, yeah. our studio. <laughs> I hope well, we're going to be apart. okay. <laughs> oh, they're defending ever so well, aren't they? It's our small teeth. They're keeping in the game, aren't they? And if they've got that counter attack in, the, in their arm route, then they've got a good chance of maybe getting a goal. You never know. If you were there now as the head coach of Rangers, if you were David McCallum, you yeah. know, that's, that's his job now, what would you be saying to, to the players at this stage? You know, they're 1-0 up there, yeah. you know, one foot in the semi-final of the Alcas yeah. International Cup. Great tackle it, there. Absolutely. It's just that lovely little ball inside the fullback. Normally kills the fullback, but he manages to get back in there. Um, my only concern would be the, the defensive side of when, when Rangers and in possession and going forward, you've got to tell the, 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 the back four, whoever's in them positions, just switch on, maybe talk to each other, over talk, just keep each other on the toes all the time. Because this is the ball all the time from Etoile Sportif. It's a killer pass. And it's just that the full back just, and the sense I've just nod off there for, for a, a few seconds. Uh, but in, but in Aukas is the is the goalkeeper for, for Rangers and he's been quick there to come out actually to yeah. negate that. Uh, another opportunity, or oh, you wanted this one to come back, didn't you? O'Connor, yeah, you get in that position. It's a very tight angle to finish from there. Maybe he's got a goal for the nutmeg on the goalkeeper, or, or pull it back. 
I feel he should have pulled it back. Great work, great play from the fullback to get in that position, but then just get your head up at the end. Right, squeezing a few things in here, just to tell you there's a game going on on this pitch as well, on pitch five behind us. It's between Raja Club Athletic of Morocco and Bayern Munich. Uh, these are the playoff matches between for nine and 12. This is a nine and 10 uh, position playoff. Bayern Munich are one nil up uh, at half time in that one. Uh, Chris and Nick have also been busy choosing the best five goals so far. We've only just completed the group stages uh, yesterday on day six. These are the top five so far. Chris, uh, talk us through them. Uh, a good choice too. Yeah, number five coming up is Mai for Kashiwa Raisal. Day one this? Day one, I remembered it, even at the time. It's just lovely skill because he's got interplay between him and his teammate, but he just rolls the ball with the sole of his foot and then just finishes it with the outside of his foot. It just clips in underneath the crossbar there. It's a, a great finish, great skill in the build-up as well. Here we go, have a look now. Quick roll over outside of his right foot, just in off the bar. Number four goes to McKinnon. <coughs> yeah. Cole McKinnon. He starts to move off and, and finishes it, but it's a wonderful skill that to be able to turn that quickly and know your surroundings. And on the half volley as well, not an easy chance to put away. Here we go. All about having a picture in your head and then the technique as well, just at the end of the shot. Cole McKinnon in playing in the match in midfield uh, today against Etoile Sportif. Uh, AS Roma have impressed, so has this man Zalewski. Wonderful finish, a la Moez in the Asian Cup. And he just feeds it to the far post there. Doesn't try to batter the ball or strike through it, he just passes it into the net. Just gets that extra little whip at the end of it. And it's inch perfect. Here we go, there's the angle. It's just inside the post, no chance for the keeper. And it's his teammate who gets number two from you, Milanese. Milanese with a volley from the edge of the box there. Reads the situation, gets a knockdown, takes a chance. Once again, technique right at the end of the move. And he just fires it past the opposition goalkeeper. Lots of power behind that shot. There we go. But number one at the moment goes to but number 10 from Spartak Moscow, and that's Mutaliev. Mutaliev, yeah. What are you going to do, defenders? You're going to show him onto your left, show him onto your right. Maybe keep him on his left, because if he can do that with his right, then <laughs> it's, he's a difficult one to defend against. I tell you, if I was a full-back, you know, I wouldn't sleep the night before. That's uh, Nick and Chris's uh, top five goals until now. Don't worry, we've got another six days of action to come. Will those five stay where they are? I'm sure we'll have some others creeping in there. It's Rangers versus Etoile Sportif du Sahel in the opening quarter final in this eighth edition of the Alcas International Cup. They're 1-0 up thanks to Nathan Coombs' uh, his, uh, goal. Uh, Nathan Young Coombs, uh, we were talking about him beforehand. Nick and Chris have, have thought he's a fantastic player. No, no wonder so many clubs were keen yeah. on him at Chelsea, whether he was going to go to Watford then. Yeah. But they've kept him there. Right, let's uh, head back to the second half and, and rejoin the commentary team. Nick Summerby and Mark Tompkins. It's just out on the field before the start of the second half. Etoile did make those two changes right on the stroke of half-time. Possibly a slight, a strange time to do it. Mahmoudi and Sidibi Azumane coming on. So Mahmoudi came on in the latter stages of the last match as well at half-time. Has got a goal to his name in the win over Bayern Munich. But Rangers, it's the same 11 for them at the start of the second half. All in blue, kicking from right to left in the second half against the breeze, which is swirling around quite strongly at the moment this pitch is a little bit more sheltered than the other pitch due to the trees over on the far side but Rangers like to keep the ball on the deck so hopefully the wind won't affect things too much but they lead by a goal to nil and a lead I think they deserved after their performance and particularly we saw at half time 12 shots to two against Etoile you can't argue with them leading it based on that no you can't at all uh, I thought it was a really good first half but I still think the next goal is vitally important They've got to keep doing exactly what they did in the first half, obviously tighten up a little bit with the two centre-halves because they, they gave them a couple of good opportunities, they can't have that, but it just the same as what they did really and, and try and finish the game off somehow or other. But very impressive. And Moody, a 
has pushed up front. Here's Young Coombs right at the start of the second half. Oh, it's a poor touch, showed too much of it to Sluman. And then we disappointed with that because Dixon was bursting through that inside channel. It's just his first touch goes a far too far. The keeper comes out to collect it, but he, he, he's, a, he's a keen runner. Coombs, he will run all day long. He's already got the goal so far, but that's what they're looking for, just to slide him in. again as they did in the last match Rangers have switched their fullbacks over at the start of the second half O'Connor's come to left back with Henderson going across to right back Fala defended this ball as well to Kennedy Dixon got Lyle racing through the inside channel, Young Coombs realised he was in an offside position. Played by McGenna. He's just a bit eager sometimes, Coombs, you know, he, he, you've got to give him a little bit of a chance, you've got to time it. When he gets to know his teammates a little bit more, you, you, you can be able to gauge when he makes his run. Sometimes he's just a little bit too eager, just got to slow down a little bit, just so the midfielder can pick the pass. Miller. Oh, he's done well, Miller. Young Coombs in on goal, it's a chance for two! Young Coombs, great finish! Thought he might have touched it a little bit too close to the goalkeeper once again, but he got there first, lifts the ball over Sleeman, and Rangers have got their second goal within two minutes of the second half starting. Rangers two, Etoise Sportive de Sahel nil. Yeah, fantastic play there, eventually gets his one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, good play from midfield, but he gets his one-on-one -on -one and he's very comfortable in this situation. The keeper comes out, there's his first touch, keeper out, and there's that lovely little chip for his second goal of the evening. Rangers are leading this game 2-0. Great tenacity by Miller to win the ball in midfield because it looked like they'd given possession away to Etois. But Miller wasn't giving up and eventually fed the ball into Young Coombs, who stayed on side. Lovely lift over the goalkeeper as well. Yeah, that pretty much answers your question, what you what you asked at the start. They need that other goal just to just to stamp their authority on the game, and they've got it at the right time. Just 47 minutes of, on the clock, just a couple of minutes into the second half, and they've been very lively, Rangers, and now all of a sudden they've got that two-goal lead. Joins Matt Yates on two goals for Rangers. Three goals is the leading scorer at the moment, Goliatov from... Spartak, who's got his third goal of the tournament last night. And this is much more like the Rangers we saw in the opening game against Raja Club. It's a, an uphill battle now for Etoile. Kennedy, Young Coombs, nicely nodded on once again. Dixon, pushed out wide, it's Lyle, it's 3-0! Well, Young Coombs, the score of the first two, has now turned provider because he started the move off. And Aaron Lyle, with another accomplished finish for the Scottish team, four minutes into the second half, Rangers have scored twice since the break and lead 3-0. And deserves it, well done by Coombs, good work, uh, just driving the ball forward. When it comes to Lyle, Lyle's been absolutely fantastic in the game so far, some wonderful touches. The ball comes to him, he takes that first touch. There's only one place he can put, put it across the goalkeeper and that's what he does to make it. 3-0 to Rangers, just come up to 50 minutes. Well, if Etoile's job was difficult at 2-0, I wouldn't say impossible, but almost impossible you wouldn't feel to get three goals. But don't rule anything out in football. Away by Budanowskis. Can't remember the goalkeeper having to, apart from that one-on-one -on -one with Recep, hasn't really had a save to make in the game so far. Come on. 
they've done the job, uh, they've obviously got the goal at the right time in the first half and they've come out absolutely on fire, Rangers. And I said they need to, uh, to, to take control of the game, they've done that now, it's three goals to nil to Rangers. And once again, it's looking like another fantastic performance by them. Not the start Moes Gazet would have wanted to the second half. So they were at training very early this morning, 7.30 they were on the training pitch this morning, Etoile. Just doing some warm-ups and some set-piece work. No line for these young players. Yeah, they probably get up and then they probably have a bit of a sleep after, though. I think Rangers, they just walk through a couple of, uh, a couple of things, but... The better team at the moment, no matter which way you look at it, is Rangers. They've, they, they've done very well. If any, any negative would be about just... They gave a couple of opportunities uh, to Sportif early in the game, and it could have gone horribly wrong there, but, you know, I think they just tighten up on that. Apart from that, it's, it's cruise control. Dixon! But once again, Lyle involved out on the far side. Dixon finding space, and, well, it's what, are all over the place at the back at the moment. Rangers carving them open at will. Teams staying at the same hotel. I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen so much spaghetti on the display at lunchtime. <laughs> it's, all the, it's, all, it's all the old carbohydrates and thing, but yeah, here's Mutti. That's a good save, but Anouska's has got a hand to it. Once again, we're forgetting about that win, what he's got behind him. Really good strike and just the fingertips. He needed the fingertips as well. You know, just to get it over the bar, it looks like it was going to nest in the top corner. That's a brilliant save from Budanowskis. But that's the danger. They try to get a goal back. Or just lift their spirits. The supporters are doing their best over on the far side. Hooked away by Miller, not a great corner. Yeah, the Rangers players are lunch yesterday one of the coaching staff just stood there making sure they're getting the right nutrition and eating the right foods yeah the game's changed an awful lot now you have to do that got to look after the boys uh, here's a pass to his coombs again Coombs again he's onside he's gone for the chip oh he's just wide this time what a chance for the hat trick well he's proving to be a real handful tonight So, so close, just off the outside of his boot in the end. Just tries the same thing again, just to lift it over the keeper, but gets a little bit too much on it. As you can see, he's working back, Coombs there, it's back with Rangers. Lyle cutting in again, Dixon putting pressure on Sleeman. Just in case you missed at half-time, the ninth, tenth place match is going on on the other pitch at the moment. Bayern Munich leading Raja by one goal to nil to that match two years ago when Bayern won 5-1. Another good save by Budanowskis. As the substitute that time, Sidibio Zamane, cutting in with a shot. Wetoir have had a couple of efforts in the last few minutes. player down, I think it's Desiri that's down over on the far side. It's given away. Should put the ball out of play. Fallow though has realised Desiri's back on his feet. Better play. Driven. It was Desiri. Credit to the supporters, they're still making plenty of noise despite the fact they're signed a 3 0 down. I dread to think what they'd be like if they were 3 0 up. <laughs> Just fanatical, aren't they? They sing all the way through the 90 minute. It's not really their story at the moment, it's really about Rangers. Rangers are winning this game 3 0, looking comfortable for it as well. Dixon, it was Gandu's the man that was down, who's back on his feet. Henderson, good strike from Henderson, pushed away. Young Coombs! Gets his hat trick. It's the first treble of this Alcas International Cup. And Nathan Young Coombs, who missed the chance just a moment or so ago, gets his third goal from close range. And Rangers lead by four goals to nil. 
well done, that's where you want your centre forward. Keeper palms it down. There's Coombs there just to smash it into the roof of the net to get his hat trick. A comfortable evening tonight so far. <laughs> well, it is a comfortable evening. Rangers are leading this game 4 0. They've just stepped it up a few gears second half. They were good first half, but they've been fantastic this second half and they've got what they deserved. It's now 4 0 to Rangers. Young Coombs with three, Aaron Lyle with the other. And Rangers, you feel at the moment, impressively heading towards the semi finals. Luca Denk, by the way, got the Bayern Munich goal in the other match taking place at the moment. Of course, we've got another quarter final to come. Alta Nordu against Aspire Academy after this. While on the other pitch, Suwon Samsung and Paris Saint Germain, the defending champions, playing for the 11th and 12th place today. They'll be on the other pitch at the same time. 1900 hours, slightly later for the second match in case of penalties, I don't think that's going to be needed here. Dixon trying to feed the ball through to Kennedy. Another wonderful performance from Dixon, centre of midfield for Rangers. You know, full of energy, yeah, quality on the ball. Well played, Budanowskis. As much as Rangers are in control, though, it's vitally important that they come off this game without conceding. You know, you need that for confidence. You know, a two, a two score team will keep on coming at them, but they've just got to stay strong, make it a perfect performance. Well, they kept a clean sheet in the opening game against Roger Casablanca. Rangers, got a corner to defend here. Young Coombs back on defensive duty. Biggest win in the competition so far was AS Roma's 5-2 victory over AS Roma. I think this is a time now where they can all of a sudden start, they can rest a few players, they can bring some of the players, some of the other players on to, to get some valuable match time. You know, this is you've got to do that, you've got to keep it fresh in case there's any injuries. You never know who you're gonna need as the tournament goes on. Not what Mazo. As Gazet would have expected, Regev, good defending again, another corner, Kai Kennedy back helping out his defenders. He's bobbling around, Regev. Just unable to get the ball clear immediately. Hoisted in by a bid. Well taken, Budinowskis. They didn't make too many changes in their last match, Rangers, but, I mean, this has been a totally different performance from them. We're back to what we saw against Raju when they excited us in that opening game. Well, OK, they're possibly not the prettiest football-wise. When I say that, I don't say that disrespectfully. When I look at other sides, Real Madrid, you expect to be, but they have the all-round game. They seem that they can control the game, they can lift, lift the tempo up, they can be direct, they can create opportunities. You know, the Rangers are a very difficult side to play against. They look like they can mix They can mix it if it wants to be a little bit of a, a little bit aggressive. Balls into the box, they look like they can, they can sort it out. It is, there's a lot of pluses for, for Rangers. Uh, and they're going to be difficult. They bring a little bit of that fighting spirit as well. So I don't think they've been, I don't think they've been properly tested yet. I think there's a lot more to come from them. And they're winning this game by 4-0 as well. So it shows you the quality of, of what they've got in this tournament. And could they go all the way and win it? Yes, indeed, they can go all the way and win it. Of course they can. Well, they're making a couple of changes. Kieran Dixon is coming off to be replaced by Matt Yates, who scored in the first two matches. So that's... Uh, no, not good news for Etoile. They're also going to bring on Chris McKee as well, a Northern Ireland Youth International. And he's coming on for Nathan Young Coombs, who has a hat trick. And while there aren't many Rangers supporters here, he'll get a standing ovation for his finishing. He has been urged to hurry it along by the referee. Great display of finishing. Could have had four as well, just chip one wide of the post. Well done, you know, we've, we watch videos all the time of players which are now play, playing at the top flight football, who are Champions League, everything keep around this boy here now. You know, the story is good, he, he was from Chelsea. You know, there's a lot of Premier League clubs looking at him. 
And he had the chance to go to Watford for more money, but eventually he's chose to, to go to Rangers with Steven Gerrard. You know, he could be one of those players who we see in the future. You've got to keep your eye out for whoever you think is the talent out there. You know, everybody thinks they're a manager. You know, have a look yourself and you tell us who you think. Get involved in Twitter, get involved in, in Facebook. Tell us who you think is going to be the star player. Have we missed somebody out? Very well said. We've got to start promote. Get them out there. You tell us. We don't know everything all the time. You've got to tell us what you think. Let's have a little bit of an argument on the old Twitter. Let's see what's been debate. That's what we want. Yeah, Alcas International Cup for all your social media. There's all the games stream live as well. It's nice to see a lot of people back in Scotland able to watch their under 17s in action as well. Hopefully, that's uh, there's a big audience for the game this afternoon. Of course. Sunday afternoon. There's a massive audience because people want to see the stars of the future, you know, and that's uh, and with what Steven Gerrard's doing at the moment, with embedding these players and giving them the opportunity, they want to see them first, you know. And they, they, these boys have done themselves a lot of favours in this tournament and, and can't keep doing that because tonight's performance will get back to the management, will get back to Steven Gerrard. He will know about these boys. He'll be watching videos. You know, and it could be their could be their time when they come back. Now this is interesting here now. Who is coming on? Uh, Edward Lowry, Alexander Edward Lowry. Now, long cared, very much like a Rabio, who, who we spoke about uh, for Paris Saint Germain. You know, and he's he he is something special. You know, his technique is is fantastic. Harris O'Connor, the fullback, is the man that's gone off. Ryan Muir's on as well for Rangers, so he's gone into right back. Here is Larry. Nice little ball played through. It's a chance for Lyle. A lovely ball across and a simple goal for McKee. And Rangers have a fifth. Tell you what that's all about uh, from my point of view there look at the pass from Lowry we spoke about him when he came on very much like uh, <laughs> uh, the name that a place for Paris Saint-Germain Rabiot Rabio, very <laughs> much like him but do you know what makes it is his pass his pass is inch perfect for him to come on to a fantastic goal well worked by Rangers and they are walking away with this game it's a wonderful, wonderful performance they're leading this game 5 nils quarter-finals semi-finals await them it's a question of how many goals they will get here now. He's only been on the field a couple of minutes, McKee. Laid on a plate for him, though. Lovely build-up plate. It's a shot, which takes a deflection a bit. That'll be a corner. Well, I know David McCallum wasn't over-happy with their performance in the game against Aspire. A day yesterday where they could work on a few things and certainly seems to have worked for them. Sidibi Azamani has gone into the back four now. Desiri. This could have been uh, a problem game of football. It really could have been because they're difficult sportif. I know you look at the scoreline now, but they're very difficult to play against. The Rangers have kept going. They've uh, they've just totally bossed the game now. They've had they're far too much for them, far too strong in midfield. Created a lot of chances in the first half. They possibly should have been more than a goal up, but they sorted it out second half, and they really have gone into another gear at the moment. They're, up, they're leading this game by 5-0, and who's to say that's going to stop? McClelland. It's given away to Recep. Goes down, the referee had a look, no penalty. Here's Larry. Plays the ball through the defence towards McKee once again. A bid. Ben Chichubi. Desiri. As it's 
stands, it'll be the biggest win of the tournament so far. So AS Roma put five past Paris Saint-Germain, but did concede a couple of goals. Fiercely struck shot, which came off McCle McClelland. McGenham. McGenham again, needs a bit of quality, doesn't get the quality though. Comes off Henderson. Yates. To sure that shouldn't have been a yellow card then for McGenham. Great aerial views of the fantastic Aspire Academy. Aspire Zone. It's the eighth edition of the Alcas International Cup. The quality just seems to get better and better each year. It's a fantastic view there. We have the drone just up at the moment, as you can see. So it's getting all the best views from up there. And you can get a, get a real idea of the atmosphere and, and what the setup's like down here at Aspire. It simply is the best. Everything's done for these boys from... It's like a Champions League game. As soon as they arrive in Qatar, the way they're looked after and in every aspect, it must be a fantastic thing for them and, 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 a, and a huge experience. And obviously getting the chance to play against di uh, different countries and, the, and their different styles. Lovely turn from Lowry. And a lovely ball as well. It's just out of the reach of Makita. Nice technique by the boy Lowry, who's, who's come on very good on the ball. Another change coming up for Rangers. Charlie Allen is coming on. Another Northern Ireland Youth International at under 16. Lyle that comes off. Once again, very aggressive by Rangers. Good play. The foul goes against them, though, but you know, they're not taking it easy at all, even though they're leading 5 0. Still driving forward, still winning the battles. Is just in touch with VAR about something. She has got a hand to her ear at the moment. Possibly about the challenge in the Rangers penalty area. A few moments ago. No. All clear. Reminder once play restarts, then VAR can't be brought into action. So it should, so it should. There's no need at all. Not in this game. There's two honest sets of uh, players here having a go. Here's Lowry, wonderful bit of skill, gets in front of the defenders, slides the ball forward. It's McKean again, it's McKee! Good save by the goalkeeper. Yates challenging. Lowry! Oh, didn't really compose himself, saw the goalkeeper off his line and went for glory, but way, way over the top. But again, Rangers could have easily had a sink. Yeah, maybe just another one of those little chips that we saw from Coombs before. That might have done the trick, tries to slide the ball past him. Too sure that didn't take a deflection. Anyway, no corner given. Free kick to Etoile. Rangers certainly aren't sitting back. They want, they want more goals. They will play the winners of the Real Madrid Kashiwa race all match. It's a repeat of last year's quarter final. Kashiwa won it 3 2 to resign Madrid to what was a seventh place finish in the end last year. She were runners up after being beaten by Paris Saint Germain. Maybe it'll be there, you, with the French side out of the competition. You know what? You might you might be shout there. We've, we've not spoke about them as, as much. They've not been as breathtaking in their in their play as what we've seen, but they're still in there. You know, and you, and you, you remember the first year they came when they started off and they were doing too well. And then all of a sudden they they struggled a little bit. Maybe they're timing it right and getting better as the competition goes on. McKinnon looks back towards his own goal, but once again, Rangers going now in the right direction. Yates through the defence once again. Slimman will get there first. Had a 
from Thompson. Forget him. Cadet. Away by Thompson. Yates. Charlie Allen just loses possession. New York wins the free kick for handball. Very frustrating night for Sportif, you've got to say it, you know, they have uh, they did have a glorious chance, probably the best chance of the game to start off a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Uh, they didn't take that, but apart from that, they really can't get a foothold in the game, they can't stamp their authority on it, they've just been totally outplayed, really, by Rangers, because Rangers are so strong, uh, and eventually they've, they've, just, they've, just become too, they've just become too good for them, really. Swap will play the losers of the Real Madrid Kashiwa Raysol game. In the bit to find out who's going to play for the playoff places. So the two sets of losers play each other, and then the two winners will compete for fifth and sixth, and the two losers for seventh and eighth. So they'll still have two games to go, the Tunisians. Flags up, I'm not too sure. That wasn't a foul throw. Eighteen minutes to go. Rangers leading here by five goals to nil. Four goals in the second half. Really has been a, a fine performance by David McCallum's side in this competition. We know they're a good side before this game, but all of a sudden it's got everybody's attention. You know, you will be thinking to yourself, can they do it? Can they go all the way? Well, there's no reason at all why they can't. Uh, OK, they changed the squad a lot when they played against Aspire, and it was a fantastic performance by Aspire, but they're back to the best tonight uh, and above that as well. So it's going to be interesting who's going to test them and who eventually is going to try and beat them, to be honest with you, because they are looking, looking like big contenders for doing it, for doing very well in this tournament. Do you know what? When you talk to them, it's, it's confidence all through the squad. You know, they're used to a couple of years ago, if you'd have said about playing some of these big tournaments with Bayern Munich and the likes of that, they said they would have probably been a little bit nervous and not at all. Now they play in these tournaments all the time, they play against this type of opposition all the time, and they have the belief, you know, they, they are very confident lads, they don't see themselves losing, they see themselves winning the competition, and you know, that's like a breath of fresh air. There's a yellow card for Nazim Kader. I assume a little bit of afters, I think, on the key after the... Free kick had been awarded. Not too sure what we've got to wait here. We're looking at VAR again. Was there ham was the Did he handle the ball before he went out of play? I think he probably did. I think he did. If you look at it there now, I mean there's a, that's a penalty. And the referee's coming to have a look, but if she didn't blow the whistle, then that's the penalty. <laughs> It might be a good call, they say, now he's grabbed hold of the ball, uh, and it had, all the ball hasn't gone over the line at all, so they're going to go and have a look. This is where the referee, you cannot hide from this. This is where VAR comes in, I think is good. I'm not too sure at what point she gave the free kick against McKee. I thought she'd penalised McKee for the foul on Kader. I'm slightly surprised to see Kader get the yellow card. That ball has not gone completely over the line. That is going to be a penalty. The player's not allowed to come and look at the screen. The assistant and fourth official making sure that they are moving out of the way. She's still having a good look at this, the Chinese referee. Qin Liang. Right, I think she's seen enough. I think once again you've possibly got to look at the situation. Rangers are winning 5-0. Do you really want to? Is it is it that, that important? Saying that disrespectfully, but you've got to use a bit of common sense. Oh, she's wiped out the yellow. It's a red card for Cadet. So that means it's a penalty as well, then, obviously, yeah? Well, she hasn't pointed to the spot, why? 
I don't quite understand what the the red card's been given for. If it's deliberate handball, has he given a penalty? There we go. She's heading over to what well, it must be. It's got to be. If you've given the if you've given the, the the red card there, she's obviously she's walking over towards that direction. No, that's a free kick to Etoile. So was it because he had a, oh, it? Oh, the kick maybe? A little kick out of McKee. But she gave a yellow and then she changed it to a red. Well, I have to say, didn't see. Great shot from Larry. Here's McKee. It's another one for Rangers. Slim and saved the first one, but nothing he could do about the second. And McKee gets his second goal of the game as well. And Rangers have a sixth here against Etoile. Well, just minutes after the Tunisians were down to 10 men, Rangers have made them pay with another goal and they are totally deflated now, Etoile, and they still have 14 minutes to go. Couldn't get any better for Rangers, really couldn't. It's been an absolutely breathtaking performance. This is a quarter-final of the Alcas International Cup and they are absolutely flying, Rangers. You've got to say that. I think a lot of the uh, managers what, what are here watching for the opposite teams will be thinking, hang on a minute, they're a little bit of a problem. And you can see more goals, it's only 76 minutes, but this has been so much of a, a big, big performance from Rangers. You can understand why they've got their belief. Away by Budanowskis. Down to ten men. And Rangers aren't finished yet. Lowry. A bid. It'll be interesting to see the thoughts in the studio. Well, you're off to the studio, aren't you? Yeah, but to see that again, I mean, is that enough violent conduct to warrant a straight red card? Because that's what happened. She gave the yellow initially. We thought perhaps it was humble, but she had already given the free kick against McKee, so I don't think that was the issue. It was the kick out fight by Kader on McKee. But once again, look at the situation with it. You know, it's not a close, very close game, you know, where you might want to make the decision. You've got to look at it, you've got to think, well, I've got a minute, they're losing 5-0 there now. I'm not going to, I'm going to overrule that, forget it. Don't worry about that. Have a word with a guy there, quick, give him a quick touch, say, yeah, you should have really possibly gone there. Let's get on with the game there. You know, it's, it's not doing anything to anybody, really. It's bad enough. They've not really, they've been battered really all night by Rangers. You just use a bit of common sense there. You don't need to do that. It's all about the football. Once again, we start talking about a situation. Don't need to. It's all about what Rangers have done tonight. Here's McKee going for his hat trick. Keep the shot down. Another change for Etoile. Kashishi is coming on. It's Recep that's coming off. A very dejected figure, Recep. Looks like Kashishi will go into the back four to make up for Kadir's absence. Well, we never saw this coming. We knew it would be a tight game, and I think if it had finished 1-0 to Rangers, as it was at half-time, before the match, we'd have said, OK, that's what we expected. I don't think now, five goals in the second half, I don't think anybody would have predicted that. No, but we knew they were a good team, Rangers. Uh, we thought both the sides were good, but, you know, it's their confidence and everything going into it. And in that first half, OK, Metuel Sportif had the possibly the best chance at the start. The more chances went to Rangers, it was a case of those putting the chances away, which he did do second half. They, everything what they've come across now, they put in the back of the net. That's been the difference, really. And goals per shots ratio has been probably one of the best we've seen in this tournament in this game. Daziri. Is there a consolation in this? Oh, he's lost his head at the vital moment. Charlie Allen. Miller. He's caught in possession. Etoile battling away, Sidibi Ozabane, McKinnon. It's a foul, free kick, challenged by Faller. And there's the hero, the hat-trick hero. Nathan Young Coombs joins Goliatov as the joint leading scorer in the competition now with three. I think 
he's got more goals in him in this tournament as well. Lovely ball inside the fullback, Yates. Great ball across, McKee for the hat trick and fires it in beyond Slimmon for number seven. And McKee joins Nathan Youngcombs as the hat trick hero. And they just cannot stop scoring. Once again, you can't give enough praise really to Rangers, absolutely fantastic, just ripping them apart at the moment. And they look like they're enjoying it, you know, they've not took the foot off the gas at all. They've carried on pushing on, carried on pushing on, and they're getting the rewards. Who's to say there's no more goals again after this? They've absolutely just ripped them apart in this game. What a performance this has been from Rangers. 7-0. So hat tricks for Young Coombs and for McKee. And they're still singing the Etowah fans, but there's a, a certain amount of resignation about uh, singing at the moment. Previous biggest quarter final win was back in. 2016, when Real Madrid put six past Kishua uh, Raisel. Rangers have gone one better here. It's in behind McGenham, and that just about sums up it twice night, really. You'll be delighted, David McCallum. Bitterly disappointed to have lost the other night against Aspire, but Aspire really lifted their game and they're in action next in their semi-final against Alta Nordu, another of the tournament newcomers. Charlie Allen, McKee's in the centre! Oh, what a chance for another one. That should have been his fourth goal of the game. Hit it on the full, brilliant work by Allen down that far side. But McKee couldn't finish on that, that occasion. Great ball in. Despite the fact he's already got three, he'll know he should have done better. Not sure what minute he came on. Chris McKee. A bid has gone off, by the way. Amory rather has come on. Well, I'm sure Etoy just wants to hear the final whistle now. Six and a half minutes to go. Here's Thompson. Henderson. Lowry. Cleland. Larry. Again, players making darting runs up ahead of him. Gets it back, Larry. Miller. Well, just out of the reach of Allen. Rangers throw. Henderson. Larry making good movement outside him. Do find the space as well, Rangers. To the box once again. Shot on the turn from Yates, he's comfortably saved by Sleeman.
Inspire Academy against Arsenal. Next, as we mentioned, tomorrow AS Roma Spartak and Real Madrid Kashiba Racel. A couple of fascinating quarter finals. Here's McGinnum. Uh, McKinnon. Foul by Ben Shibuchi. Thompson. Muir. Allen. That inside channel. To throw it in the corner, goes off Kashishi. So Rangers knew they were going to be here for a few more days anyway, but it makes so much more difference when you know you've got a semi final to look forward to. Of course, they would play another game depending on what happened we do have a third fourth place playoff here on the day of the final next Friday 15th of February great ball in that's a free header from Yates and the man who scored in the previous two games just quite find his range in this one McClelland three minutes to go Rangers Cruising through to the semi finals, 7 0 they lead. Thompson. Henderson. McKee. Larry. Tussle on the edge of the penalty area. Still, it's not clear. Yates. Brilliant strike, but the whistle had gone. He's looked impressive since coming on. Another great prospect, Alex Lowry. So he's still an under 16 player, but has already featured with the under 18s. Went to the under 18s training camp in Turkey last month. Referee again is just in conversation with VAR about something. Maybe the challenge. I think that's a penalty. If it is a check foul, it's right on the line. It's in the penalty area. No, no VAR needed, so they will continue. Bayern Munich have gone 2 0 up, by the way, in the other match against Raja Club Athletic. So it looks like Bayern are going to finish in ninth place. Finally, a little bit of respite for Miroslav Klose. Disappointing tournament for Bayern. As they were beaten in their first game by Etoile, 3 2. Etoile. Last two matches really have been a shadow of the side they were in that opening game. Bench Chubi. Daziri. Mahmoudi. Oh, took his eye off the ball. Again, it's just one of those moments that really sums up Etoile's night. Seven o'clock local time, the second match in about 40 minutes' time. Slightly longer gap between the games for the knockout stages, just in case penalty shootouts needed. No penalty shootouts anywhere in sight in this one. I'm sure Real Madrid are here just a couple of rows down in front of us. Looking on, 
They may well be playing Rangers if they can come past Kashiwa. We're into four minutes added time, and the whistle can't come soon enough for Etoile Sportive du Sahel. It's been an awesome display of finishing from Rangers. Three from Nathan Young Coombs, three from Chris McKee, the substitute. And the goal from Aaron Lyle, and it could have been so much more. Young Coombs missed a chance for his hat trick earlier on when he was searching for his treble. McKee could have had four. But credit to those Etoile supporters on the far side. They've kept up the singing throughout, despite the fact their side have been well beaten here. Alta Nordu, I'm sure, will have a similar following for the second game. And I'm sure we'll see quite a few from Aspire Academy coming in as well to support the team based here. Thompson. Faller. So I did have a player sent off, don't forget. Nazim Kader after an intervention by VAR for a little kick out on Matt Yates. Gamiti or oh, given away to Lowry. Some tired legs out there for the Tunisians. Free kick for Etoile. Larry with a look of surprise on his face as to why that was given. Possibly struck his arm. Thompson's header. McGenham. Henderson. Henderson's done well, just managed to block his way off to goal. Clever back heel from McGinnum. Sadibi Azamane. Still can't find a shooting opportunity at Swap. Mahmoudi. All the way back to halfway, and Rangers will try and break. That's a high challenge from Gamiti. The key credit quickly back to his feet. Quite a heavy knock. One of those sort of 50 50 balls. You know the challenge is coming. Both players fully committed in trying to win the ball. Rangers fans, will, there's a yellow card actually for Gamiti. Rangers fans will be able to, see, able to see their side in action again on Wednesday in the semi finals. Thompson, McKinnon. Allen, is there one final goal for Rangers? He almost finds a way through to Larry. Faller. Well, that's what Sportive du Sahel have put out of their misery on what's been a, a wonderful quarter final for Glasgow Rangers. They were one up at half time, but tore it to apart in the second half with another six goals. Nathan Young Coombs with a hat trick. Aaron Lyle got a goal. Chris McKee scored a hat trick as well. There is Young Coombs.